Oh well, this is the version of a Stirling engine which I promised to make some time ago. Up to now I was doing the ring bomb configurations, i.e. the three piston displacer, but the power piston, power cylinder, was connected to a crankshaft mechanism, something like this. Now this one has no flywheel, has no crankshaft. I made it on the same basis as the engine in my previous video. But I've got the same displacer cylinder and the same displacer piston. I even have the same power piston as the previous ring bomb engine had and uh, that's where this piston went into. I even have the, the old generator and the LED which are at the moment sitting there doing nothing. Now this is a prototype of a truly free piston sterling engine. Now this is not a thing of beauty at the moment. I don't expect it to work very well. I simply want to see whether it's going to work at all. The former cylinder of the uh, ring bomb engine is connected to the connecting tube which is just disconnected here. Instead I connected the displacer cylinder to this new cylinder here which is simply has a weight on it. I mean it's pretty ugly, it's not totally vertical. The weight on top of it is random, there's nothing tuned here. The weight itself on top is not very good because it makes the, the piston top heavy, so the balance is not, may not be quite right. But uh, while well, I don't expect it to work very well, I want to, to see whether it's going to work at all. So to see whether it will work, we'll, we'll try to start the engine. Put the heat underneath and we'll see what's going to happen. Let's try to move the displacer a little bit. Yeah, there is an expected reaction from the power piston which follows the displacer movement, which is quite right. Okay, let it go. It oscillates and then decays. Well, the oscillations seem to be getting longer, so maybe warming up does happen. Still longer. So it works, sort of. There is a chance it will work. Ah! Well, that, that's great! It actually works better than I thought. No, I didn't expect it to work that well. I would expect it to work a little bit. This is totally untuned engine. But, one way or the other, it works. It works very well. I'm sure I could improve the, the speed of it work. Or maybe it will increase the speed as it gets warmer as well. Oh well, ladies and gentlemen, here's a Stirling engine without any flywheel. Totally free piston on both sides, on the displacer side and the power piston side. Well, I think it does accelerate. I'm a bit scared because this prototype has not restricted from above, so if the amplitude of the oscillation is too great, the piston will fly off the cylinder. So I don't want that to happen, so try to be careful here. The spring here is connected to both cylinder and the piston by means of a sticky tape, so it's not particularly reliable either. But it works! So, my future video would be to make it proper, to make this spring the same as I did on the displacer side, to be a virtual spring built with magnets, and I put weight inside the piston low down which makes the piston more stable, so that hopefully all of this will improve the oscillation speed. And um, I might put that on my next video. And the video after that would be the same thing, but with a linear alternator wrapped around it. So we might produce electricity from there. But right now I'll just say make it slow down.
Oh, that's a very, very good prototype for me. Yep. It's stopped. Great. End of the video.